All right, now if you follow this channel, you'll know that I am a Roku partisan for sure. I love Roku, I love almost everything about it. Uh, if you don't follow this channel, you really ought to. Go hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell icon because we're going to have a lot more CES content coming your way this week and in the weeks to come. So make sure you're following us. Anyway, today we're talking about Roku. I'm here with Jojo from Roku. He's kind of run me through a few of the things that are coming up or have already come up. We talked last year about the, uh, the uh, oh, that's right, the antenna data. That's right. So now with Roku, as of about a year ago, you can hook in an over-the-air antenna and it will provide data on those channels 14 days previously and 14 days after. So you can have a guide just like you're used to on cable or satellite, something like that. So that's really cool. But this year, we've got even more coming out. Judge, run us through one of the new things coming out this year. Yeah, so this year, uh, what we're doing is like we're releasing the Quantum Dot uh, panel. Uh, this is the first Quantum Dot uh, TV that we're releasing. Uh, and then uh, this is a 75 inch. Uh, uh, this is going to have uh, more free features for consumers. So what we're going to have is like we're going to have uh, featured free. It's more content driven. Uh, we're going to have uh, uh, deep linking for uh, the channels. Uh, you know, like the, the Roku channel is one of the most popular Roku channels that we have, uh, streaming channels. Uh, you could now uh, subscribe to all those premium channels such as Stars. Uh, HBOs and so on. So uh, all of those will be uh, will be uh, you will be receiving one bill for it. So the so the featured free channel uh, or uh, yeah, I guess it's an option in your menu on the if you go to the left side of your Roku menu uh, after the software update about a month ago. There's now a new option for featured free. Now this kind of ties into one of my all-time favorite things about Roku. It's it, it is service agnostic, and so it doesn't matter if you're big into the Amazon ecosystem or. Uh, you know, Google or what have you. It has, uh, it, it ranks all of the shows you want to watch by price. Well, now you don't have to search for those things. You can go to the featured free menu item and it's going to pull together some of the most popular items for you uh, and it will, you know, obviously tell you which services are, are having that for free. But then the other thing you mentioned was premium channels. Uh, I know we've got stars on the docket, not maybe not HBO yet, but hopefully that's coming. Um, and what you can do is order a single show or perhaps a movie on those, and then instead of going to, you know, you got to sign up for it, for Stars, and you got to create a login, you got to put in your credit card information. You just do that with Roku once, and then they're going to pull all that billing for you and do it for you, right? That's correct. Yeah, that is correct. And also, I wanted to add that you know, like uh, this year, uh, by the middle of this year, we're releasing the far field technology. Uh, with the Roku TV, so now you'll be able to talk to your television, to turn off, to play a movie on certain channels, and so on, uh, play music through it. Uh, so that's that's all going to come in the middle of the year. And then uh, we also released the uh, the speaker systems, the the stereo speakers, the two speakers this year. So you could hook it up with a Roku TV, uh, and then now you'll have premium sound. Awesome, yeah, and that just means you're freeing up one more HDMI port that you don't have to, or whatever it is you use USB to plug in Alexa or Google Home. You don't have to worry about that now. That's all integrated. You just say, hey, Roku, change the channel. You know, hey, Roku, put on Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory, because that's what you're watching now. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Any other features that I need to be aware of or that we need to be aware of? Uh, no, that's, that's, the, that's the feature that we're releasing this year. Awesome. Yeah. Well, this uh, right behind me, this 75 inch, this was released last month. And so now this is the biggest Roku TV I've seen. Uh, the TCL 75 inch so if you're curious you can go check that out we'll put a link to that in the description below if you want to go check it out some exciting new things happening in 2019 I hope you're excited I know I am because like I said I'm a huge fan of Roku if you have any questions about it let me know in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them thanks for watching guys we'll see you at the next booth